Good morning, Superintendent Fred Lamke. Today is uh, Thursday, July 18th, and I'm gonna give you a walking tour of the building. You can see we're doing some concrete pours today. We're walking into West Entrance, which brings you right into Central Hall. concrete poured in the central hall. We're going to walk the complete distance down, giving some information. This is the hallway that leads down to the shop classrooms. There'll be a restroom, actually two restrooms and a storage room on the left side of this hallway. We continue walking towards Spring Street. We'll take a left into the multi-purpose room. You can see that the multi-purpose room has been painted. They continue work on it. They're doing some HVAC work over here. Here we have the hilltoppers on the wall. As I turn to the right, this will be a hallway that leads into the 1963 gym edition concrete and most of the plumbing work's been completed in the locker rooms they're starting brick work as you can see today on the right hand side here you're going to see we are going to have a bathroom and the door down towards the uh, gymnasium is going to be the ad office and turn to the left we have a storage room i keep walking towards spring street now and again we're on the first level As I come to the end of the hallway, we have the training facility and a couple storage rooms at the end. And this brings us to the point where I'm now gonna turn right. And we are now looking down the corridor that goes in front of the gymnasium where the lobby is. And that's the central hall. Okay, I am now facing south and this is the corridor that goes in front of the gymnasium. Uh, this hallway used to be where the stairwell came down connecting the high school, the old high school to the 1963 edition. As we walk forward here to my right is going to be an entrance into the boys and girls locker rooms. To the left we have what will be two classrooms. And now we come into some familiar territory as we walk up and you can see the trophy cases. I'll give you a little bit of bearing about where we're at as we enter into the lobby. Hey, hey Nicole. Okay, you can see the lobby has been demoed. The doors have been taken out. The girls restroom has been empty. They're getting ready to start remodeling. And we'll walk into what's going to be the new foyer, the entryway into the high school. This will be where the doors are that enter coming into the building. To the right is going to be the high school office. You'll have the reception area right in front of us here. And in the back, we'll have the guidance counselor's office, the principal's office, conference room, file storage. And then back in the right corner will be the nurse's room. This will be the new men's restroom. This will be a back door entrance into the office area. Hey, we are back at the Central Hall. As I turn backwards, this is going to be the new entrance into the west side of the building. And this is the hallway I have identified in previous videos as being the connecting hall that goes back to the industrial arts room and the shop classrooms. Again, on our left, we have two restrooms going in here, which will be also joined by more storage. And where we're at right now, this is the previously was the north hallway going by the gymnasium, going in front of the locker rooms. This was what connected back to our shop classrooms. 
So as we stand right here, you can see this is the entrance into the industrial arts shop. We walk through the passage. To my right is the entrance into the industrial arts classroom. And to my left is the new doorway that we built going into the gymnasium. And you can see we got a lot of cleanup we're gonna need to do in the shop classroom. Sorry, Mr. Burgard, we'll, we'll get working on that. And then as we turn the corner here, some more work that we're doing. Um, we're making this hallway accessible uh, that we're going to be taking the stairs out and you can see in Mr. Allen's classroom we've tore out the previous entrance into his room and we're going to be blocking that in and made a new entrance just down the hall so we'll have a ramp that goes down this hallway it will be ready for the start of the school year and that is our shop wing I'm now standing in the second floor where the elevator comes in and the stairwell enters the second floor of the 1963 connection with the 206 addition. We're walking through the doors. Just kind of get a look at what's been going on in the 63 edition. You can see that new HVAC systems, plumbing systems have been put in. The ceiling's gone, which will be replaced. All these classrooms will be air conditioned. And we're working on a plan also to replace the lighting and the ceilings in these classrooms as well. You can see it's still a work in progress. Besides being emptied out, the rooms are not that different. But you'll see changes there coming very soon as well. And one last piece we have to do, we have to finish the floor crossing in to the 2020 edition. We'll walk back through the band room. Where again, ceiling HVAC work is being done through here, preparing for air conditioning in the entire building. And one new addition for the band room is the old double doors that went out to the ramp has been filled down on one side and just a single door, which now enters into the 2020 edition. Now I'm now standing in the location of the former ramp that came up from the west side of the high school. I'm looking to the east towards Spring Street and this is the second floor central hall. Again, we have an entrance into the band room. We have a storage room. And we have men and women's restrooms. Which have been roughed in. You can see the wall work's going up. Drywall is going to be completed very soon in the entire 2020 edition. We walk up to the intersection here. Again, we're facing Spring Street. As I turn to the right, you can see this is the connecting hallway on the second floor going into the 1963 edition. Again, we have to get the floor completed here. This is where the stairwell was that connected to the old high school. As I turn left, I'm looking towards Cook Street and you can see they're doing some of the final drywall work. You can see we have lockers in. And we'll pop in and get a quick look at one of the classrooms. Primarily the drywall in these classrooms has been finished up. You can see there at the mudding and taping phase. And again, we hope to be maybe putting some paint on the walls as early as next week. This room is a collaboration room, which is going to be shared by another classroom. This is a meeting room for students to come in and do individual or group work under the supervision of our instructors. As we step out of the hallway, as you look across the hall, this is going to be the teacher's lounge. And now we're walking north on Cook Street once again, towards Cook Street rather. This is the media center, which is replacing our old library. It'll be 
something quite a bit different from the old library in the setup and design and organization. It'll still have books, but you can see it's taking shape. The drywall's been up. There's still some work to do with that. We have our English language arts classrooms. And again, this doorway takes you out to Cook Street. This is our Spanish room. It's a little bit different because it's a corner room. It's got four large windows in it, ample space. Now we're walking west and we have our math rooms. One here. And another back in this corner, again, these rooms are all connected by collaboration. That's the storage room. And this is going to be, um, it's, it's kind of a utility classroom. We'll use it for driver's ed, maybe some health classes. Teachers will be able to use it for technology and some other purposes. You can see our windows have been being installed. We walk across the media center. You see two doors on the other side of the scaffolding. The door on the right will be the teacher's workroom where teacher supplies, the copy machine, their mailbox, and such will be. And right next to it is going to be our data storage. That's where we're going to be keeping our technology, our iPads and other items that need to be kept secure. Okay, I'm now walking down the hallway that goes in front of the gymnasium. That's Nicole with CORE. She's done a great job working with us. And we're walking into the 2020 edition. And again, this is the first floor. This is the training facility. As I turn to the left, we're looking west down the central hallway that takes you back out to the parking lot. And then and I'm gonna show you a little backstage view here. As we walk into the training room and I give you a first view of this. Give you a little idea of the scope and size of our training room. It's a nice size facility. Again, this is replacing the space that we used on the stage in the old high school. We'll have batting cages, fitness equipment. This will be for PE, sports. And we're gonna kind of do the back, the back door of the training room. This door comes into the hallway. Again, this is a storage room that leads out to the central hall. As you can see, that is the central hall. Now walking south, just to give you perspective. Going west to the parking lot. Going east to Spring Street and the corridor that connects into the first floor of the 63. The stairwell that goes up to the second floor of the 2020 edition. As I step forward, that's an entrance into the multi-purpose room. And this is the backstage. I'll give you a little idea of the scope of the stage area, the size. And you can see we have really nice height on the ceilings. Good space. There's a ramp that comes up the backside for accessibility. Give you a little idea of the depth of the multi-purpose room from the stage. We have backstage storage here. Then on the side we have stage and storage for the multi-purpose room. And you can see it's a nice large room with high ceilings, so it's gonna give us really nice storage. And this is the work to date. Well, Mount Pulaski High School. Things are moving along quite well. We're right on schedule to open school on September 8th. Hopefully we're going to be even further along than we thought we would be. We're looking to possibly even get into our locker room sometime in September, but we're pretty positive right now. We know for sure that all of our classrooms will be ready, and we know that our offices should be opened as well. Again, your 1920, 
2020 Mount Pulaski High School construction and renovation.